Yeah. We're going, man. It's your boy Cyber T. We're doing a little interview today. You feel me? She gonna ask me what she asked me. I'm gonna answer the question. I'm going. I want that. I'm gonna put that boom back on the end. Okay, so who we on the set with today? We on the set with Big Z, Big Zombie, your boy Sabi T, man. We on film we at the crib with it, Jabba, Florida, 38 Hatley, baby. <laughs> okay, who you got beside you? My Z. Yeah. You feel me? The QT Mario B. Baby. Tight shit like that. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, um, where you get the name Cypress Tabat from? Oh, uh, what shit? I was supposed to be my real name, tight shit. Like, you feel me? Like, my real name, Jacoby. But my mama was gonna name me Cypress, but ain't nobody like it. Like, my family and shit, they're like Cypress. Nah, nah, nah. Tight shit like that. But she, she say she seen the name Cypress like she was on the highway one day and she seen the name Cypress on the side of a semi truck type shit and she liked it that type shit. She was like, oh, I'm gonna name my film, I'm gonna name my jet that type shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, so where you grew up? You grew up here? Oh, duh. I grew up here. Yeah. Uh, a little bit in Valdosta too, like, film out back and forth. But it's the crib, you feel me? Jabba, Florida, move up. How you end up in the beat, like? Uh, my mama moved up. She had, she had a boyfriend and shit, he from there. So, goddamn, we moved up. Like, I was in like third grade type shit when we first moved up, yeah. Talk to me about life in Jasper, but also, you know, like how was it, you know, staying here, being here? I ain't gonna lie, like, it's always love in the crib. Like, I come here and I'm chilling, you feel me? Like, I ain't looking over my shoulder, I ain't doing nothing type shit. But, like, in Val, like, niggas been hating on the real, so that's the difference type shit. Like, the hate and the love type shit. Okay, so how you feel about all these babies, like, hopping out the port, like, soon as, like, straight to it, not knowing what come with it, like, uh, hot to quit, this shit. As far as, like, just in general? Yeah, like, you know, everybody want to be out here. Oh, no, you just got to goddamn, everything got a consequence, like you say, you feel me? You just got to be ready, you feel me? Like, if you going to do this, you got to be ready for this type shit, like, and then you gotta learn from it at the same time. You can't do this shit and then keep doing it. You gotta learn from it and switch something up, you feel me? Right. You ever been in jail? Twice. <laughs> but it was one of those, you feel me? I got bun money, overnight type shit. Get out next day, you feel me? Court type shit like that. Did it change your mindset? Like, where you saw things? How you move? For shit show, hell yeah. Especially for like the police and shit. You feel me? Like shit be crazy. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, um, how long you been making music? Since I was like 13 or 19, now. Uh, you feel me? So yeah. What made you start? Really got down. I was hooping at first. Got kicked out of school. Picked up the music shit, went to rapping. Cutting hoop, so shit. Plan B. You feel me? When you made your first song? My first song. I was 14. First time ever in the studio. Me and homie, long live my brother. You feel me? Yeah. That shit was what that shit, how that shit go? 14, young nigga, but that shit right up, yeah. That was my first song, moved up. Who inspired you or like rappers you listen to coming up? 
Kodak. <laughs> For shit yeah. show. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me see. Kodak. On the real, Kodak. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's something you dislike about being an upcoming rapper? Like, what's something you just like, man, I don't like it, but you know, I'm gonna keep going. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question, though. Like, I really love this music shit, so I just take, like, whatever come with this shit, I just, you feel me? I take it and got down whatever, whatever type shit, you feel me? That's a good question, though. Okay, so um, if you, like, mentally okay and not gonna get emotional on me, like, how how you been sent to be calm me? I can speak on it cause like once you go through shit like over and over niggas dying and shit like you feel me you can speak on it but shit like I been I ain't, I ain't gonna fly I ain't been alright but shit I have been coping you feel me like I have been getting by day for day type shit okay. um, talk to me about y'all relationship like y'all fine and yeah, homie. Yeah. That like my other half, like I say, like half of me for real, like taught me a whole lot of shit. Like, you feel me? That my daddy was supposed to teach me like type shit. You feel me? Homie taught me. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um were y'all related? Yeah, that's really my uncle. Oh. Yeah. Everybody think, oh, that his brother ooh, they probably just homeboy, but like that's blood. That really my uncle type shit. How has his passing like affected you? Uh, shit be like it, a lot of shit change. A lot of shit change, like a whole lot. But shit, he told me like he said we gotta be ready for the change type shit. You feel me? He said that out of their own mouth. So shit, I just, I just keep that in my head, you feel me? I just keep shit he told me in my head, and that shit just keep me going. I still listen to his music, hear his voice and shit, like all that shit like that keep me going for real. We gotta go. I said we gotta move. So enough of that, um, what's something like that motivates you to like keep going, keep grinding, you know, with the music stuff? My kids. My kids. My stuff. Hey, yo. I gotta like, my support, my support, like that shit. A1, you feel me? Like, turn on my music. My grandma, she'll turn up right now, like, real shit. Like, everybody, they love me. You feel me? Like, that's what it is. How how y'all two met? Like we been, you feel me? Like years ago, years ago, got down. Shit, we ain't never got down. Feel me? Once we link, it was that. Like we were like this, like bad, good, up down. You feel me? Tight shit. You feel me? Now we got a jet, so. Yeah. You got something to say to him? I love him. <laughs> she says she love him, y'all. She says she love him. Okay, so um, you finna go shoot a music video after this? Yeah, I'm waiting on the cameraman to pull up. Nothing supposed to be on the way. But you know your boy Dolo be cap. <laughs> so we're gonna see. We're gonna see if Dolo pull up. Yeah, Dolo. <laughs> you dropping a project? Like, or is it just a single? Oh, uh, what today? Uh, the 13th. Two more days. Okay. On the 15th, I'm dropping the tape. Yeah. Okay, so on all platforms, find it everywhere. Well. Great. It will pop up on the screen. Okay, so um, you got something like to say to the people, your fans, support system. Hey, they just the start, like. They just the start, for real. Like, y'all ain't seen that. I'm gonna show y'all how, 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 how to really turn that into something. You feel me? Like, Project Baby. For real. Anyone's on the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you got your boy Cypress to and his baby next to him, her beautiful self. <laughs> All 
All right, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, go check out Cypress T. We out. It's gonna run them bands up. It was a G.O.G. whipping the pirates Run it up, I do not have an option Run it up, I do not have an option Yeah, option Yeah Your nigga the heart of the project it Was a G.O.G. whipping the pirates Run it up, I do not have an option Run it up, I do not have an option Yeah, option I say, I say, bit homie, we gotta run it up. Let's fuck, 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 fuck. Get that boy a pound, my lil' Z break his head back. What the fuck that boy just said? Hold on, wait, play it back. Remember they left the kid for dead, no you recall.